Bulls Nation, as the summer league comes to an end, we now have the experience and the knowledge of some of these players and what they can bring to the Chicago Bulls coming off of our bench and potentially starting on occasion for the Chicago Bulls. And at the end of the day, there are a lot of talent on this team. And even the young talent, even the players that didn't necessarily play well in the summer league, those players are going to be Chicago Bulls players. And with that being said, we need to look at how good they played in the summer league, as well as what they could bring to the Chicago Bulls. And today's edition of this episode will be about Ayo DeSumo, ladies and gentlemen, whether or not he'll get minutes for the Chicago Bulls, how well did he play in the summer league, and overall just how valuable he could be to the Chicago Bulls going forward. Without further ado, let's talk about Io in this video. Let's do it. everybody it's the Aiden Sports Show and welcome back to another video today we've got another Chicago Bulls related video referring to Ayo Dosumo ladies and gentlemen the summer league has been an important one for us to watch and analyze some of these players just how well they were able to do just overall how well we played in general and the Chicago Bulls although we did have up and down moments we had a really horrific loss and we also had a pretty decent win at the end this is going to be a very interesting time to see just how good some of these players can be on this team and whether or not they deserve the time and the minutes to show how good they are. But before we get started, please like and subscribe to the Aiden Sports Show YouTube channel. Turn notifications on. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts about the Chicago Bulls and the players on the Summer League team that you think deserve minutes. And of course, we're talking about Io today. Io's stats in the Summer League, I believe, was 12.6 points per game, 4.4 rebounds per game. He averaged as well 1.6 assists per game. So, yeah, look, at the end of the day, it's not the best stats when it comes to Io Dosumo, but it's definitely not the worst. And there's a lot of talent in this young kid. I'm going to say that straight up. I see a lot of special things with Ayo Dosumo. I'm not going to lie. Yes, his offense needs work. I'm sure he knows that. He admitted himself now that he knows what to work on and he knows what he's good at and he knows what to attack going into this season. And that's something that, again, very knowledgeable thing to have coming into the next season to know what you need to work on straight off the bat. He enjoyed the Summer League like nobody's business. He loved the Summer League and he admitted he loved the Summer League and we enjoyed watching him. Again, there were some struggling moments. There was a game where he shot 14% from the field, and that was a very horrific game. But Ayo Sumo, in terms of intensity, energy, and defensive presence, was probably up there as one of the better players in the Summer League of all the teams. And that is something that we should hold very valuable. I see Ayo Dosumo becoming defensively ready straight away. I don't see a player at this point in time that we need to wait to see the best defense out of him. I think, of course, every year you get better defensively, you get better offensively, but Ayo should be a pretty impressive defender coming straight into the league, and that's always a good sign. He's going to be a player that loves the transition game. Again, Ayo was the most effective transition player on the Chicago Bulls bar none. He always knew the right time to run out in transition. He always knew the place to be and the right pass to be received. Even when he was the one making the pass, he was doing the right decisions at the time of, of those plays. And he was always the one to give the pass off. He was always the one to finish the play. And that's exactly what you want to see. Again, a good runner, a good energy player, a hardworking player, and someone that knows the exact moment of when a fast break bucket is needed compared to someone that will slow it down just in general. I have to sumo, in my opinion, is going to be a very perfect player to run a very run and gun system. And again, that bench is going to be a lot of run and gun, ladies and gentlemen. We have a young, athletic, and willing to run bench. And this is exactly what we need as a Chicago Bulls diversity. The starting lineup, Nikola Vucevic, won't always be the run and gun center. Yes, we have four other players that can do that, but sometimes you want to slow it down for Nikola Vucevic and you want him to get involved in the action. With the bench, a lot of that bench is run and gun. A lot of that bench will be transition offense and very solid defense, rebounding. That's what our bench is going to be. And Io, in my opinion, is one of those players 
that yes, offensively, he might not may, be making shots every single night. He might be missing corner threes. He might be taking um, step in jump shots from the mid range and missing them. That's his game. That's what his game was at college. And at the end of the day, that can that game needs to transition into the NBA, and that's going to take some time, according to what we've seen in the summer league. But defensively and transition wise. It looks like he's going to be a ready now player in the NBA and that's something that I cannot wait to see. I cannot wait to see a run and gun style of play when it comes to Io, Kobe, Alex Caruso, even if Lonzo Ball's playing in this unit, Zach Levine. Again, this team is very run and gun. This team is has the ability to be a very quick team while also being a very slow and get to the right get to the right position, make the right play kind of team. Diversity in our scoring is going to be key for the Chicago Bulls. Something else I want to mention, because at the end of the day, I've been conflicted about this for a long time, because we have a lot of guards on this team. Again, Lonzo Ball, Alex Caruso, you have uh, Io, you have even potentially Troy Brown. Some people see him as a guard, Kobe White. And you even have Devon Dotson that's probably going to be in the G League next year. We'll talk about Devon Dotson in another video. The question is, do I see Io getting a lot of minutes? And do I see him getting minutes over the other players like Kobe White and Alex Caruso? In my opinion, at this point in time, I think the answer that is probably the most likely is I don't see him getting minutes over Alex Caruso and Kobe White. If there's a check, if there's an opportunity where we had to pick between the players to get minutes and someone has to sit out, I see Kobe White getting uh, more minutes than Io. I see Alex Caruso getting more minutes than Io. But I believe that this Chicago Bulls team can have a situation where Kobe White, Io, and Caruso are going to be playing together. It's not necessarily Kobe White is going to be picked over Io. Alex Caruso is going to be, be picked over Io. These are not things that I think will be happening with the Chicago Bulls, at least not from the very beginning. I see Io DeSumo getting an opportunity very early for the Chicago Bulls. One, because Kobe White is injured. And two, it looks like he could be a solid player defensively for us. And that's exactly what the Chicago Bulls should value in a player. But Kobe White and Io have played together before, something we failed to realize. I don't know if it's just me or someone else mentioned it to me. I'm not sure, but it always feels like it's one or the other. I don't think it's one or the other with Kobe White and Io. I don't think it's one or the other with Caruso and Io. I think they have the opportunity to play together here. And again, the lineup's going to be very undersized off the bench, which is why we need to make sure that we bring in the right player to ensure that we do have a little bit of size or maybe a little bit of versatility. Get another get another taller guy, maybe another smaller guy, and there you go. We got that we got that diversity, we got that uh, ability to utilize players in different positions, and it should work out very, very nicely. But again, it's not one or the other with Kobe White and Io. I don't see it as that anymore. I may have saw that coming into the summer league, but after watching Io, I don't think Io is going to be a replacement for Kobe White, and I don't think Kobe White is a replacement if Io doesn't get minutes. I truly think these guys are going to be able to play together, and they've played together already. These things matter. Io and Kobe White played in their USA team. I believe it was the under-18s USA team, and they won. And that is something that we need to remember. That's something that's stuck in your mind. And that's something that matters. These things matter. The fact that DeMar knows Nikola Vucevic from a long time ago, that matters. They obviously know each other. They've played with each other. They understand each other. These things matter. So bringing Ayo Tosumo in was a very good shout for the Chicago Bulls. Again, he has a lot of work to, to do. Don't get me wrong. Offensively, I feel like his game might struggle at the NBA level. I'm not going to say it's going to be a complete bust. But I'm going to say it needs work. And we saw from the Summer League, it's not always been the best. He's not always taken the right shots. He's not always been a player that you can rely on to make shots consistently. But transition-wise, he's definitely a reliable player. Defensive-wise, he's definitely a reliable player. And most importantly, he has the potential to improve every single year with the Chicago Bulls. And hopefully, we're going to be the team to get the best out of Io, especially because he wants to be here. And the fact of the matter is, when I see Io, I see Kobe White alongside him. I see that being a terrific bench unit to go with. So don't see one or the other. And I really think Kobe White is going to have a lot of minutes off of this bench. I think he's going to be truly a sixth man for the Chicago Bulls. And I think he's going to excel at that role. And Io has a spot right next to 
excellent in my opinion, and so does Alex Caruso. In my opinion, this is a good problem to have, regardless if someone does miss out on, on game time. These are good These are good things to have. These are good um, problems to have, where you're just talking about minutes. You have so many start started, so many, so many talented players coming off of your bench. It's a good issue to have when you're concerned about how many minutes these guys are gonna get, because they all deserve the minutes and they all deserve the opportunity. Maybe some, some of them will get that, maybe all of them will get that. Sometimes, maybe players are gonna miss out. But again, as I've said before, when I look at Ayo Desumo, I see Kobe White right next to him. I see them playing together. I see them being a very effective duo, as they have been already. And I see that exactly the same thing with Alex Caruso. I think we're gonna be playing a lot of guard play in that bench position, and hopefully it will be a successful ride at that. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're new. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful and safe day, Bulls Nation. I'll see you in another Chicago Bulls video. Stay safe, stay healthy, stay tuned for more. Also, keep your eyes out on Twitter today and tomorrow so we have that final update on Larry Marketing and whether or not he will be a Chicago Bull. I do feel like I have to mention it. I don't always want to mention it. But again, with two days left, I believe, until we really know what's happening with him, time's going to tell and maybe the Chicago Bulls do make up their mind tonight. Take care and peace.